Photoshop CS6 provides advanced 3D text features that you can animate. To start, activate the Type tool by pressing the T key. Go ahead and type a line of text within the canvas area. If the text is too small, hold down the Command key to quickly resize it. Then click on the Move tool. Now navigate to the 3D menu and choose New 3D Extrusion from Selected Layer. This will change the layer into a 3D object. Click and drag within the canvas area to rotate your 3D object. Now navigate back to the 3D menu and choose Split Extrusion. This will create a group of 3D characters that can be modified individually. Navigate to the Timeline area and press the Create Video Timeline button. Drag the current time indicator to around the 3 second mark within the timeline. Then click on the Animation Panel Control menu. Choose Work Area, Set End at Playback. Off to the left, twirl down the Disclosure Triangle for your text layer. Then open up 3D Meshes, and then open up the Group Layer. You should see a small stopwatch for every character within your text group. OK, now move the current time indicator to the 1 second mark. Navigate towards the bottom of the timeline and click on this stopwatch for each character within the 3D text group. Each time you click on the stopwatch, a keyframe is created. These keyframes tell Photoshop where each character will end up at this point in time. Then move the current time indicator to the front of the timeline. Now go back to the canvas area and click on a character. Notice how you have controls for moving each character. So now, all the characters will end up where you place those initial keyframes. OK, the last step is to fade all the characters up. Move over to the right of the Photoshop interface and click on the Layers tab. Set the Opacity slider to 0% for your 3D text layer. Move back over to the Timeline window and find the Opacity layer for the text object. Click the stopwatch to add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Now move the current time indicator forward 10 frames. Then move back to the Layers tab and set the opacity back to 100%. OK, there you go! For other great tips like this, or to enroll in an Adobe CS6 video editing course, Visit GeniusDV.com